Bites newsstand, and I want to show you something that is brand new today. It is really cool, or at least I think it is. Uh, could be because I'm easily entertained, but I, I, I think this is awesome. DC has done such a good job. Now, this is called DC Connect. It is a brand new way they solicit, you know, they're, they're upcoming, and um, it is, you know, completely catered to them now we did have when they were strictly with diamond um and i'll talk about this just briefly before i show you um them uh you know in previews magazine and they still will be in the previews magazine but since they do have some products that are digital only that aren't printing through diamond and now that they are doing a lot better in my personal opinion as far as using ucs and lunar goes we have to have some sort of alternative right so the fun is about to begin we are getting the brand new way for dc to solicit their upcoming books this has been a long time coming guys you are finally doing something really great so what we have is here's your guide it's even got a guide to the different labels right so they're doing this to kind of show you just exactly who this is meant for <laughs> like Gotham High when it totally wasn't meant for me and I reviewed it anyways that would have that would have fallen under the young adults and that was not for me so we've got kids obviously 8 to 12 13 plus for young adults um just your regular rating when it comes to 13 plus and then the black label books which of course are the nitty and the gritty and they are 17 plus so we've got Brand new solicitations. Obviously, they have been solicited. We've seen these. We've got our release date for Three Jokers. I've talked about this. It's coming out August 25th. Looks so good. I love that they show just just how it's decorated and everything. Probably you're going to hear a little shilling. Deal with it. It's just going to... We're just like... I'm, I normally wouldn't do a video like this and screen record like this. But it's fun to go through these different things. We've got interior art. Um, I believe the art on this is done by Jason Fabot. So we've got DC's Dead Planet 2. Now, Dead Planet 1 obviously comes out previous to this, but we're getting Tom Taylor's universe just completely explode upon us. I am so glad. I love this um, variant cover, and I'm not a big cyborg fan, but this variant cover just, like, the way his face is, and I'll try to zoom in without getting it too blurry, just it feels like pain. Like, it really, really does. So, and, and obviously, Francesca Matina, who always does. You can always tell their work, but always fantastic. So, we've got Death Metal, the seven-issue miniseries coming out. And we've got that, obviously, by Scott Snyder. This is the solicitations for three, right? This is August. So, um, it's going to be a little head. That's normal when it comes to previews. If you're used to kind of looking at the previews, we got Legend of the Dark Knight. These are actually things I've all completely gone over. The guidebook. Um, let's see. Now this is where we're going to get a little different, right? So they also have the um, Beast Boy by Cami Garcia coming out. Now I will probably review this. I do generally review the YA titles. I read Raven. It wasn't bad, not gonna lie. For a young adult, it wasn't bad. Now, there is one that I am not looking forward to. Oh, I forget what it's called, but it's about um, Aqualad, uh, Black Manta's son, and it, it might be in this. I'm not exactly sure. This is um, our Swamp Thing one, which should be okay. Um, Green Lantern, I'm not a big Green Lantern person, but this is written by um, Gabriel Hardman. So, I don't know how good this will be. I don't know. Of course, you know, I'm a little biased. Of course, I think it's going to be good. So, Joker War Solicitations, 96, right? So, this is all, again, stuff I've talked about. But I am really looking forward to this. Now, you can get your own copy of this, obviously, for free when it comes to um, DC.com slash connect. So, we've got Bad Girl 48. Now, I do... I do, Cecil Castellucci, I do think this is going to end, and I've said that in previous videos. I think they are going to take advantage of this. So much they're putting forth, and they are going to end Batgirl, and they are going to redo it. This is 48. I believe the last one, in my personal opinion, is going to be 50. We'll have to wait and see, you know, another month or two. So we've got a tie-in issue for Joker War, and I'm not going to go through all of these. I just, I... 
I'm a dork. Shut up. So, Joker War, um, another tie-in, 1026. Both Detective Comics are going to. That variant, though. Like, I wish it didn't get blurry when I zoomed in. Unfortunately, it does, but it looks great. So, Harley has been canceled, but we have a tie-in issue with Harley Quinn 75. That is, in fact, her last issue. So, Hardy, Harley battles punchline in this exercised issue. I really honestly can't wait. Punchline is such a good new character. I love her so much already. She's my best friend. Anyways, so we've got another, and this is another one I said I think will end. We're at 73 here. We will know both about both of these, and Dan Jurgens has done a fantastic job with Nightwing, even taking on the Rick Grace and stuff. Good stuff. So, um, I do think this is 73. I think the last issue for that will be 75. Again, could be wrong. Just kind of my own thing here. Another tie-in. Okay. Ah, this one I'm, I'm still upset about. I still am mad about Red Hood 48. Scott Lobdell, fantastic writer. Fantastic. One of the best at, you know, there's a couple I would chill for, and that's one of them. Suicide Squad would be another. Batman, obviously. These are all things I've talked about, but fantastic. Fan-fucking-tastic. You know what's not fantastic? That this is ending. That we've only got two more issues. That I'm going to go through Red Hood withdraws, you absolute jackass. So we've got Wonder Woman 760, and this is Mariko Tamaki's run. Now, Oh, I don't know. It's the return of Maxwell Lord. Mikkel Janin, you cannot go wrong with. And I know I said his name wrong. I've always said his name wrong. Um, but you can't go wrong with his art. So I hope, Mariko, I, I, I hope you do your best work. Because what we've seen from you, like, uh, what was it? Harley Breaking Glass was absolutely garbage. Please. I just spoke earlier today about how much Wonder Woman meant to me. Don't ruin her. That's pretty, though. Like, I don't know. She looks weird there. Okay. So, whatever. And, and obviously, bi-weekly, we're getting 761, too. So, we're getting, uh, I don't know. I'm so torn on that. Oh, her face looks like, ew. Okay. So, that's okay. Her face can still look ew. Ah, ha. We get the dreaming. Now, I'm really excited for this. Now, well, usually in the Sandman universe, at least to me, it's always kind of gone and been, uh, maybe I'm not, maybe I'm wrong, but I always felt like it was, um, something that a woman could read or a girl could read and pick up and like a lot more than they would maybe Superman because of the more complex relationships. So having G. Willow Wilson read that or write this actually isn't a bad part. It, like they said, it's a great jumping on point for new readers. So I probably will jump back on the Sandman universe here. I actually dropped it quite a while ago simply because I was reading so much. I never got to anything old. I never did. I'm still trying to catch up on Kingdom in the JSA after Kingdom Come. So, Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey 3, um, Jimmy Palmani and Amanda Connor. I have no doubts that this will be fantastic. Um, the first one, and this is black label rated, so you see the little black label rating here, um, was absolutely fantastic. Now, two I will review. Oh, Adam Strange. <laughs> God, I need to say something negative. Tom King, you're weird. Okay, so there we go. I said something negative. I'm, I'm really looking forward. Adam Strange, number one was so, so good. Oh, I could sit here and keep doing Super Sons. We need our Super Sons back. So we're getting into kids a little bit, but um, I, I love that they do this because when you get kids in this young, mm, just like me at that age, you never stop reading. So Action Comics, um, I, here we go where I don't have anything nice to say. I won't be buying this. I won't be buying anything written by... Bendis at this point. Did he have this time when he was really good? Sure. Yeah, he definitely did. But as of right now, no. Amethyst, yep, it's not bad. It's not woke or anything. Um, but it's just it's just not for me. And that's okay. Not everything's for me. Aquaman is for me. I have been loving the baby line. Ah! I love the baby. Shut up. Batman and the Outsiders, we just discussed the other day. And I'm gonna go quickly here. I don't want to make this too long. Dexter Soy, fantastic artist. Brian Edward Hill, fantastic. Um, 
person. <laughs> oh my god, he's he is. He's a nice guy. And not only that, but he's also um very professional. So that this is another one I said I think might be ending. But because it's mm, beyond, maybe not. I don't know. 46 Dan Jurgens again. Fantastic. Batman Beyond has been good. I love the Batwoman Beyond that we got. That was really good. So I have been you know what? I'm behind on this when it comes to reviewing this. Um, so I three's already come out. I don't know why it's resolicited. Okay, because it's a seven issue miniseries. That's why. That makes more sense. Batman's Grave, I gave up on. <laughs> Warren Ellis, Brian Itch, I love you guys, but Warren, you you some of your stories just are so off the wall. Batman and Superman, Joshua Williamson is going on to. Now, I did report the other day that Joshua Williamson would be off of Flash. So, he is now going on to Batman Superman. I have no doubts that it will only get better, Catwoman. This is what I'm talking about. Ha! I told you guys. In uh, one of my videos before, this is 24. Sean Gordon Murphy and Blake Northcott are both on it. Now, 25 will also be written by both of them. Another one, I think, that we're going to see end. I love you, Sean Gordon Murphy, but that looks like a boy dressed up in Catwoman suit. But it, it's cool. So, Joshua Williams in The Flash, always good. I'm going to try to go through these. Another Flash, because that's bi-weekly. Mm, Grant Morrison. I love you, dude. You're a good writer, but you are so... Your stories are so convoluted. Um, if you don't know the lore when it comes to Green Lantern, and I am not the most versed when it comes to Green Lantern, that's it. You're out. Robert Vendetti, can't go wrong with. He's always so good. Justice League Dark, another storyline you can't go wrong with. Is there something I can say something bad about? Justice League 50. No, I can't say anything bad. Sorry about that. I'm not... Simon Spur. I don't know that name. That's really weird. I'm gonna have to look it up after this. So, just loveness. This must be just fill-in issues. Because we just had, um, uh, Justice League, and it was written by Robert Vendetti. So we must be getting fill-in issues, um, during, I'm assuming, I'm assuming during the time of Metal Justice League Odyssey, always good. Dan Abnett. Oh, I believe we are getting closer. Legion of Superheroes pass. Mad Magazine pass. Metal Man pass. Dan Didio's at least finishing it. Oh, uh, Jeff Lemire's question has been really good. Uh, pretty good. Decent. Let's just say decent. Well, see, now we're going to get into the stuff I'm not interested in. I am interested in this Suicide Squad. I love Suicide Squad. It has been one of those that is absolutely fantastic. I just thought this was really, really cool, right? You've got... No, Teen Titans. I don't read that. Um... You've got these this whole new way to see it. And Dead Earth. Bleh. No, look at Wonder Woman. That's not Wonder Woman. That's not... Let, look at the screen. That's not Wonder Woman. Anyways, you get... um. I don't even know what I was saying. Nah, I totally forget what I was saying. Anyways, Young Justice, I don't read. Oh, I was saying about doing my video this way. I don't know why I'm justifying it. I just think this is really cool. Like... It's really neat that we're finally getting a different way. I think DC is doing this extremely smart. How our John Constantine can't go wrong with. I think I haven't read that. Ah, I got to I got to keep on one track mind. I think DC is doing a good job with what they're doing. With what they the cards that they were dealt when it came to Corona, they are doing absolutely fantastic. So now we're getting more into collected editions and stuff like that. But this is really cool. Booster Gold. All of this is so cool. So I will put a link to get if you want to take a look at this yourself. Even though I talked you through the whole thing. I am sorry you had to go through that. But these... Oh, look how cute Supergirl... Oh my god, I gotta shut up. She's so cute though. She's adorable. Anyways, I will put a link... <laughs> to this in the description so you can check it out. I think it's really smart. I'm really glad to see something new and something positive come from, you know, the industry that was totally dead. Remember when it was totally dead? Because they didn't have reserves for two weeks and it totally died. Yeah. Remember? Remember it was dead? Oh, wait. That never happened. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this. I'll put the link in the description. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.
Hey guys, I want to give a huge shout out to my Patreon and subscribe stars. You guys literally make this channel possible. Huge thank you to Cage the Mick, Robert Mick Twiz, Black Knight Fool, Brucey, Chris Z, David L, David Rafford, Jeffrey Allen Carnes, Mighty Paws, Mike Buckner, Mizen Barbosa, Ruskar, Ryan Decker, Robert Hoffman, and Doc Holiday. You guys are absolutely amazing, and thank you so much for all your support. Don't forget on the way out to like as always if you enjoy the content and hit subscribe. And I will see you in the next 